This here is a word list. We're gonna use your share word list, and I'll use uh, Durbuster and directory 2.3 medium. <clears throat> Actually, don't want to go that far right now. Sure, let's go with directory list medium and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to put an output here for uh, DL 2.3 medium. And that'll create a little file for me so that way I can read it later if I want to. Uh, and drop it into that directory that I created, THM Tools R Us. Alright. Hey, our Nmap came back. Uh, Looks like we have port 22, port 80, port 123, and port 8009. So I'm going to type host. And I'm not a big fan of this because I just messed this up. Um, I didn't create a workspace for myself, but that's okay. We'll stay on this uh, workspace and see if I can host tech H. Hey, good morning, Hadriel. How are things going? I'm going to delete this uh, host here, 10.10.214.10. I don't need this anymore. Rick. Can I move it? Nah. Alright. Uh, hosts. How are things going on this fine morning for you? So it looks like we got Tomcat on um, 1234 and 8009. So uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and open up Firefox. Got done with some chores. Awesome. I'm glad you're being a responsible human being and, and making sure that everything is squared away. I've been very lazy. I took leave. I decided I don't want to uh, do anything at all anymore. I'm just, just study and, and hang out with my kids. So... You might hear them in the background at some point. I got uh, two kids in school and another one. Uh, she's a little baby baby. So she uh, is not doing the school thing. She's doing the hang out with mom and dad thing. All right, so unfortunately Tools of Ross is down for upgrades. Other parts of the website are still functional. Let's take a look at the source. So uh, to see if there's anything, it doesn't, looks like uh, the, the picture, the banner that we saw is on the root directory of this web server so we don't they don't tell us that like there's one that exists out there um so that's not very useful to us there's nothing in the comments whatever all right cool if you take a look at wapalizer you can see that it shows us the web server is 2.4 18 uh, uh apache and the operating system seems to be a ubuntu um let's uh do a couple Initial uh, searches for like a robots uh, text. See if it tells us anything. Nothing. Uh, let's see if there's an admin panel. Nothing. So none of the basic stuff are working for us here. Can't really tell that anything's happening. So instead, we're gonna uh, go back here. Oh, looks like that our GoBuster, our directory enumeration, has shown us that there's guidelines. And protected. So let's go take a look at guidelines first. Oh, it gave me a status 301 and uh, a status 4, or excuse me, uh, 401. So status 301, let me show you what this is. Um, HTTP server status codes, right? They have different categories. Uh, the Informational responses are all 100s. Successful responses are all 200s. Redirect messages are all 300s. Client errors are all 400s. And uh, server responses are all 500s. So this being a 301 is a redirection message. 
and it tells us that something has moved permanently. The URL of the requested resource has been changed permanently. The new URL is given in response, and it gave us uh, this here. So guidelines, but with like a, a, a directory heading on top of it. And then protected is a 401. So 401 being a client error for uh, unauthorized. Although HTTP standard specifies unauthorized, semantically this response means unauthenticated, which means that they're, they expect us to be logged in to be able to do things, right? Cool. And it looks like Bob might be our user or one of our, our low privilege users. It says, hey, Bob, did you update that com Tomcat server? As we saw in our search here, we have a Tomcat server on 1234. So very interesting stuff. Um, what I should be doing is taking notes. Uh, and I haven't really gotten around to taking good notes yet. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's open up a notepad. We'll start making notes there. Thank you, Not Bob, for reminding me. Um, I don't. Uh, I haven't signed up for this year's John Johns Hopkins uh, Children's Center fundraiser, the Children's Miracle Network. So um, that link will just show you like my my regular web page. But uh, you have any questions about raising money for the kids? Uh, let me know. Hey, Joel, you. Fundraise, right? Are you? Did you uh, sign up for this year already, or are you uh, pulling off, or what's up with you, man? Right here, I will do. Uh, let's see. Reconnaissance, recon, and uh, we used Nmap. Okay, uh, here we used GoBuster. And we'll start copying some of this over. And the, um, I really need to start making better notes. So this is my, uh, I, don't, I don't use Obsidian, I don't use uh, Trillium, I don't use anything at this point. Um, so we're gonna use Notepad. I did not do Extra Life this time around, but I will be doing it in 2022. Awesome. That's cool, man. Uh, I haven't I haven't gotten around to doing it, but uh, who, who are you going to fundraise for? You're about to hear Crazy Baby in the background, I think, so we'll see how much uh, my gain picks up. All right, so what I'm doing here is I changed my uh, command to enumerate port 1234 of that same web server because uh, of the Tomcat thing we, we pointed out. Looks like we have uh, a unset up Tomcat server. Uh, so if you go to this, you might be able to like just log in with like Tomcat and then secret. If you say something like that. So I don't know if he changed the passwords or not yet, but this is something to make note of. So uh, I guess, let's see, where would I put it? Um, so we'll make this gobuster.80 and we'll do uh, gobuster1234. Looks like it has docs examples or whatever. All the basic stuff are gonna show up here. St. Jude Children's in Pensacola, awesome. Yeah, St. Jude, if, I feel like that's a really good combination. St. Jude Children's Hospital, um, doing great things for kids out there, so. 
Cool, man. Congratulations uh, on, on picking uh, a place to, to work on. All right. Bob, Tomcat server. So we know that they expect us to use Dirtbuster. Uh, I'm using GoBuster and same, instead, same thing. Hydra, so that we can uh, like probably brute force credentials. Uh, this Nikto thing, Nikto is to be able to do, do vulnerability analysis. Um, and I do have some uh, some guides or whatever on Nikto. So maybe I'll use some of those. Probably also you'll see me do a lot of Googling. So that's something I do. Uh, configuration identity and authentication testing. So I took the SANS um, pen testing, or web app pen testing course. Uh, graduated in August of 2020. So that's the kind of thing that uh, basically helps me like remember, hey, I remember hearing about this some time. So maybe I can go and search for it. I got my baby. She's, I think she's baby drawing right now. My baby hacker. <laughs> You playing any games now, Hadrill? Are you still doing the uh, the Halo Infinite? Uh, so this is probably not going to be something I can brute force uh, SSH. Typically, not a great great thing to try to do. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. Uh, do a scan on all ports and just see if there's anything else that's out there. Actually, I should, probably should have done it uh, with the no ping flag, but we'll move on. Uh, what did we say that we found? We found protected and guidelines. Guidelines was here. Oh, and protected. We didn't. We didn't go uh, look at protected, did we? So ten dot ten dot two five five dot one two four protected. Oh, cool. So this is only using um, basic uh, authentication. So let's see. I've been playing Sea of Thieves, Realm Royale, Phantasmophobia. I love that game. That's a that's a fun game to watch, especially so. Uh, are you one that is like creeped out by uh, ghosty stuff, or are you playing it uh, on a on a whim? Are you a thrill seeker? Like, what's your deal? Admin password. Let's try that. Admin admin. Bob. Password one. All right. None of those things work, but we do have something we will want to try to uh, brute force because it's basic authentication. Okay. Uh, what version of Tomcat did we see here? Tomcat, Coyote, JSP. JServe. I feel like there's like, what what does Apache JServe have? Uh, I feel like that's like JavaScript or something. Okay, I love ghost hunting. Yes, it creeps me out a lot, but I love the thrill. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. All right, so I'm feeling a little lost here. Mm, I can go to guidelines. What I might want to do is... Uh, Cancel since this looks like a, like an unconfigured um, Ap Apache. I am curious about what else I can see in guidelines. Um, and I want to see if there's any like uh, PHP files, any text files, any. Um, uh, um, 
scripts, uh, shell scripts. Anything else I might want to say? I don't know, pi, I guess. Uh, let's see if anything pops up. Hey, what's up, honey? Yeah, still recording. I'm gonna need to clean up the car. Okay, um, so just taking a look at um, some of this other stuff that was out there. HTTPD 2.4.18. No. Apache. All right. Skipping ahead a little bit, but I just saw... I uh, was scanning the page and it asked me what the server version was when I ran the scan. So, uh, might as well answer, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to learn Nikto now. Alright, so, what is Nikto? Let's open up a new thing here. Nikto. Alright, so, Nikto, this is short help. Type capital H for the full help. All right. Awesome. Extended help information. No lookup. So what if I did? Uh, URL. URL alias post. Post. Man, Nikto. This is like um, me trying very much to avoid Googling anything just in case I see anything I don't want to see, right? So. So. This is, if you, when you type in man, uh, it's for, short for manual. So now I'm going to use his notepad to help me build my. Nikto on 80. All right. Let's build my Nikto command. Nikto attack host. Set it to an IP address. So uh, our IP address that we're playing with is 10.10.255.124. .10 Did it give us any examples out here? See also cert.net, the Nikto homepage. Cool. So why don't we, I mean, we, I'm not Googling stuff. I'm using the resources they provided me. So I'm going to copy this link. Although I don't care if you Google. I highly recommend Googling at all times. Do it. Google. Nikto Interactive. No problem. Nikto Docs. Cool. Basic testing. Using a proxy. Installation. All right. Basic testing. So if I type Nikto and then I type the host and an IP, dash SSL is if you are sure it's an SSL server. So I'm not sure it's an SSL server. I'm going to try Nikto dash H 10.10.255.124. And the port we're going to try is 80. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice. So, simple as that. Let's go ahead and update our little script here. Tech H. And then, uh, what do I want to type? I want to type, I'll put this here, I guess. Um, sure. Let's 
CMD. I feel like I want to like, like show what command I'm using. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right. So what did it do? What does it tell us? Uh, it tells us the server header can hint to user agent to protect against some of the XSS. So cross-site scripting, but uh, I got nothing yet on this, so that's fine. And I'm using it against guidelines. It's gonna wind up nothing being in guidelines. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take care of some more house stuff, get ready to make some lunch before work later. I'll leave a tab up for you though, thank you. Hey, appreciate the lurk. Um, yeah, no worries, man. I know how it is. If you want to jump in here and give me all the answers, feel free. All right. Uh, so while this is going, check in on our end map. End map is almost scanned all the things. Oh, what I should have done is do a, a, a verbose scan, right? That might have been, uh, better. So... On nmap, uh, I used db underscore nmap, and then I did sc, sv, o, and then the address. Yeah, I've never really done a, a, a walkthrough or a write-up or anything like that, so this is uh, basically my first attempt here at, at doing something like that. Uh, I. I wouldn't call it uh, a walk there. Uh, just, I'm still stumbling through everything that I do, but I'm making notes about it. Maybe that's a better way to explain it. All right. Maybe I should read more walkthroughs. That way I know how to format them correctly. All right. This is still going. So it allows post options get and head. While we do that, let's read more about basic stuff here. Great. So let's see, what does an a Nikto output look like? And see what we should be expecting out of Nikto. This is from sciencedirect.com. Cool. Auxiliary scanner, HTTP Tomcat manager login. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good one. I used that one for um, one of one of the recent boxes I did. Yeah, now that this is uh, finished up, I'll I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so what uh, SADM twenty one is referring to is because we know that there's Tomcat out here. Let's do a search in Metasploit for Tomcat. It's got a bunch of stuff already, uh, starting from zero to 23. Um, so something we might want to try because there's there's uh, probably going to be uh, default logins is this one here, number 19. So uh, we'll do info 19. Info 19 tells us that uh, Tomcat application manager login utility, and we can start brute forcing passwords. Um, we just have to make sure that we update a bunch of stuff here, right? So, what am I gonna try? I am gonna try, um, gonna set, actually, I'm gonna use number 19, use, right? Show options to see, options to see what needs to get set. All the required stuff, um, our host in particular, uh, going down the list, brute force speed, you gotta, you have to set it. Our host, you must set it. So I'm gonna set our host to one, two, four. And then I'm gonna set uh, stop on success. To true, because I don't want it to keep going. Um, I'm going to set the target URI, uh, I believe it's probably going to be the same thing. So let's go back here and 
and so one two three four manager HTML sure and yell at us. Uh, okay. Go back here. Uh, so we don't need to set. I mean, it's already set, so we don't have to mess with it. Um, threads. We'll set threads to ten. Sure. Uh, Tomcat manager default user passes. Might as well leave that there. And um, let's go ahead and I don't know if check works on this. Doesn't support check. Uh, I think we're good. Show uh, show missing. No missing stuff. So let's go ahead, go back to our notes real quick. And still waiting on uh, met, er, the Nikto scan. So uh, we'll call this MSF, right? On 80. And uh, we are use We'll see if that works. Uh, nothing missing. Let's see. So let's go ahead and run it. All right. Go Buster. I think this is um, just too big of a list, especially since I put in uh, all of these uh, different extensions out there. So I'm not going to get anything anytime soon. And this is just kind of hung there. So let's go back to this connection timed out. Hmm. I am wondering if maybe I need to stop my go buster. Because my connection timed out. And if uh, I need to, I'll set the threads down back to uh, one or whatever. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting on this, I guess, let's go back to what the Nikto output looks like. Uh, command line interface, cool. Uh, I don't really like that. Oh, this is better. Oh, that's cool. It looks like you could, um, oh, my port is set wrong. Tomcat, set our port, one, two, three, four. All right, show options. So remember, our, our port for Tomcat was one two three four and I, I almost messed that up a, a second time so let's see if it works this time oh that's cool they have one in uh free code camp Talking about how to scan it with Nick now. That's great. I'm going to save this. My connection timed out again. How to scan an IP address. Cool. The results, if you want to export it. Scans take a while to complete. Oh, that would have been uh, helpful. I should look for an output. All right, how to pair with uh, Metasploit. Oh, this will be really good. And then I could probably load it into my database. I think this would have been uh, very useful to know before kicking off my scan. All right, so let's see. Nick though is probably doing a bunch of stuff too, right? Man. 
definitely want to stop this Nikto skin at this point then. Hmm. Um, what can I do with the time that I've got now that Nikto is acting crazy? Or, excuse me, my... Not Nikto, but... I'm just going to ping text C. 10.10 10. that because I, I want to make sure that I don't have to like restart my oh that four yeah all right so we're still going but I'm willing I bet this is going crazy here all right set the reds uh, we're gonna set it to one go slower hopefully it won't go crazy and we'll run just double check, I'm not missing anything here. I wonder if I need to... Pass file. I wonder if there's an issue with having a pass file. A user file. User pass file. So, Tomcat Manager Login Utility here. Want to verify I don't have some kind of misconfiguration. Can you see a misconfiguration anywhere in there? Um, SADM21. All right, so I went to Offensive Securities site here, and I'm looking now for Tomcat. All right, now it looks like they have the, the password file. Set there. User pass. Users pass. Okay. False, false, false. False all around. My R port is correct. Stop on success true. I'll, I'll change that back. You know, whatever. Set stop. No, I don't want to change it back. There's got to be something else. Target URI. Manager HTML. You know what? Let's change this back. I'm not gonna not gonna output anything. And I'm gonna go to not guidelines, but I will go to one, two, three, four. And oh Protected one, two, three, four. No, I mean, that was a default. Hmm. This shouldn't, honestly, the, the default list is not very long, so. Hmm. Set the threads to one. Everything is the same. Verbose, true. Yeah, set up all the attempts. Set our host, set our port. This one is verbose false. This is what, this is what we should be seeing here. I'm almost wondering if I need to like restart my, my box. No, it's got to be the Nikto thing, right? That, that that makes the most sense. Is that Nikto is doing stuff and it's just getting mad. Patch default file found. Yes, I know. 
I dislike that this is really like holding me up here. All right, let's see if we can answer any of this stuff. What directory has basic authentication? Uh, protected. We got that. What name can you find from this directory? Bob. Uh, this one was guidelines. All right, so at least we're answering some questions here. Uh, how did we find this uh, one right here? We used GoBuster on the .80, or the, the port 80. Uh, in there, hey Bob, did you update the Tomcat server? What directory has basic authentication protected? Has basic authentication what is Bob's password? So Bob password, see if that works. All right, so I feel like I can do some basic authentication on that. There's gotta be, I'm going to use burp. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use burp. And hopefully Nick does not destroying me here. So how am I going to use burp, huh? I'm going to use intruder. Burp defaults, great, let's do it. And then I'm going to have to make sure that uh, this, uh, I have foxy proxy, I'm putting it on to my burp. I'm making sure that my proxy is intercepting for now. I'm gonna to try to go. Oh, hold on a second. Let's forward that. Uh, Bob, password, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically what I'm gonna try to do now. Um, okay, cool. So we'll turn this off real quick. HTTP basic authentication. So it uses uh, basic authentication. We'll we'll do the search on uh, fuzzing. He easily brute force basic auth portals using Hydra. So. We'll get rid of this go buster one for now. Hydra, attack L, the login that we're gonna, oh, attack H. Hydra, attack H, what does Hydra do? Uh, don't use it in military or secret service organization for illegal purposes. Uh, and you can ignore the rest out there, yeah? So we're gonna use the user Bob we we'll use uh, a password list of user, share, word list, uh, and we'll use Rocky. And then HTTP, uh, attack F for where we're gonna be uh, attacking, 255124, HTTP get. And protected. Make sure I got everything right. Bob likes bubbles. All right, that is good to know. Let's go ahead, drop that in here. 
So what I wanted to try to do was um, trying to mess with this, but I, I totally forgot how in Burp I'm able to use um, Intruder uh, in order to do basic authentication. So it's just easier doing Hydra at that point. Um, although I really, what I really like to do or have been uh, enjoying is going to extensions and using the Turbo Intruder. Now, for this, it's not going to work out for me. Um, and Hydra was just as fast, so why even bother doing anything else? But um, that was that was the intent. So let me put in what I did not do. Um, so I I tried to use um, Burp for uh, basic authentication uh, can not remember Hydra just easier um, so then Hydra uh, let's see protected Hydra protected, okay, uh, what did I do then? The command I used was Hydra, tech L, Bob, tech capital P. Actually, I can just copy this, right? So let's not. Cool. Made it easier. Uh, and then what I got was this one. Yeah, gotta excuse me for trying to figure out like how best to make this a note. I, I don't, like I said, I don't use any of the, the big uh, note services at any point and, and I really need to start practicing. So what are the port that serves a web service is open on a machine? All right, so we got that one, one, two, three, four. Going to the service running on that port, what is the name and version of the software? Um, so it's gonna be Apache Tomcat, right? Um, Let's go back to my MSFDB. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. This is bugging me. Um, cool, so what am I doing? I am doing services. Okay, Apache Tomcat. And how do they want this? 2.4.18. Uh, maybe that's not it. Uh, full name of service version. Hmm. How do they want this? Listed. Oh, refusing connections. That's not good. Still up and running, right? Did I break you? Oh no. Ah, I'm an idiot. Burp. Let's turn us turn off. Burp. <laughs> Happens to me like every single time. All right, so Bob. Bubbles, great. The protected page has now moved to a different port. The what? That's interesting. Uh, okay. See if this works, Bob Bubbles. Okay, so Bob Bubbles work the same, no problem. So what, Tomcat, is this the one that they're looking for, Apache Tomcat, that looks exactly like the format that they want. All right, looks like we're good there. Um, 
notes. Let's take notes. Uh, cool. So then uh, burp didn't work. All right, so HTTP get. Password. Oh, okay. I know what happened. I just pasted it in the wrong location. Okay, so now we logged in to aiding protected. Uh, Bob bubbles. And we got that message. Protected pages moved to a different port. I don't want to know what that image is. Looks like a little shield. Uh, image of shield and globe. And then the message. So then go to login to one, two, three, four, protected. We logged in as Bob Bubbles. And server is running Apache Tomcat some point, whatever. Great. Use Nikto with the credentials. Oh, so if we were to run Nikto, so now, now I want to close out Nikto. I'm just going to close it out. And this will give me an opportunity to try the output thing that I was talking about. So let's go to THM and then what did I call this one? Uh, tools. All right, so Nikto command, man Nikto. And then uh, I want to find login, see if that works. No. Credentials. No. Let me take a look up port single SSL. How to use Nikto with credentials. All right. Nikto authentication. I don't care about the challenge. Nikto conf. I don't want to do that. Method two. Set agent. No, no. Oh, so you got to use. Oh, man, I don't like that. They're trying to. They're saying that you should use um, the. Uh, this is Reddit. I don't know that I want to use Reddit. Whoa, you're tiny. Uh, let's see, credentials, ID, in the form of username, password, and realm. Realm is optional. ID. What I'm looking for is this ID plus. Let's see if that pops up with anything. ID and password to use for basic host authentication. All right, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I guess I'm going to put this in my little password thingies here. We'll go back to Nick, though. Um, what did they want me to run it against? On a manager HTML directory on the port you found above. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming they mean one, two, three. So we're gonna do manager HTML. Nikto tag H 10.10.255.124. We're gonna do it. Uh, I gotta double check, make sure that 
port is noted like that. Port. Only discover HD put ports. All right. So TCP ports to target. So it looks like that'll begin. Uh, where was I? One, two, three, four. And I guess this, the, like if I wanted to host, I'd go like this, manager, HTML. I'm gonna double check that like they don't have a specific URL or something like a directory self-reference, no, that's evasion. files Let's see about output Oops. debug output verbose output so tech display capital V that sounds like it'd be very busy list plugins an HTML report would be kind of cool. A text report, comma separated values. What was that one that we saw? We saw a um, MSF, MSF plus format, MSF plus. All right, so we're going to try this one. Format MSF plus. All right, am I missing anything? And I kind of like the idea of putting in reference links too for like where if I use a reference, maybe I should, I don't know, reference it. Um, Yeah, right all right so now that we've done that let's see what happens with this here I'm not a Nikla person I don't know anything about Nikla so uh, invalid output format well that doesn't that's not great at all Uh, Nikto MSF format. Cali.org, how does this run? H, blah. Nobody answers. All right, cool. Yeah, I see CSV, HTM, you know, uh, MSF output. Screw it, let's add this too, huh? Let's go ahead and make it a verbose. Mm, XML, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what HTM pops up with, yeah? Sure. All right, I think we've done enough of that for now. I can't, I, I have to, obviously I have to have a, uh, a name for it, huh? Um, output, go back to output, output. Tech O results. Sure. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Invalid IP. So 
how to run Nikto against a specific directory. Okay, there we go. May be specified. Mutate root. Ah, okay, so I think it's going to be root. And we'll see if that works. Oh boy. Hey, look, it worked. All right, so now we're going to drop that in here. Root. Okay, so what did we do with our command? We told them where we want to go scan. Uh, the specific route we want to start at, the port. We want to see all the things that are running down our screen, and we want to uh, output this in a format. Oh, uh, and what was the file? We said o oh, results tag html, I guess. All right. Woo, that's crazy. Uh, but we're learning things about Nick, though. How many documentation files did Nick go identify? So me, being a cheater, I want to start at nine and work my way down to zero. Uh, but we'll we'll let this thing run. Reversion of Apache Coyote is a service running. Apache Coyote, one point one. Use Metasploit to exploit the service and get a shell on the system. Okay, cool. So Nick does running. I'm gonna go ahead and search uh, Coyote 1.1. See what happens. Maybe if I were to spell it right. No. Okay. Uh, JSP. Apache active something something. Oh, sorry, Doggo's going crazy again. Okay, uh, looks like, yeah, not we're done with Hydra. Nick, those going. Let's go ahead and take a break. I'm going to go and hydrate, go get myself some more water, uh, take a bio break, and then uh, maybe we'll be able to wrap this up here shortly, and we'll, we'll start on our exploitation. Uh, cool. I'll be right back.
right. Let's turn down the music a little bit. And let's get back into it. Let's see. All right, cool. So we're back here. And we have uh, Nikto doing its thing on Manager HTML. Did I put in a password? Let's go back to our command and, and look at it. Nikto Manager root. Oh my goodness, I did not put in my manager or my password. Uh, so all of that was for not. That's okay. Hey, look, it looks like uh, figuring, like, like actually making notes is actually helping me. So, Bob Bubbles. And I think that'll work. All right, let's clear. Start fresh. Nick the Bobble, or uh, Bubbles, the host, root. Results.html. All right. Initialize a bunch of stuff. Looks like doing a bunch of gets on files in Manager HTML. And nothing's working at the moment. Oh, you know what I kind of wish I would have done was I'm gonna go this sudo. Go back to a THM, and then what do we call this one? Tools. And uh, tail results. Head results. Nothing so far. All right. Oh, hey, I see a couple um, 200s there already. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, what are we talking about? Let's go back here. Uh, use Metasploit to exploit the service to get a shell on the system. So we'll go to Google. We'll Google this. 1.81. Exploit default credentials. Tabcat RCE via J JSP by upload bypass. Okay. Well, upload bypass seems like something that uh, they've talked about. Target ID, show options. All right, so let's let's search. Okay, uh, info zero. Uploads a JSP mop payload and executes it. All right, uh, can can I have a little bit more information? So the version of, that we were looking at was uh, 88, right? 7.0.88. This one says 7.0 through .81. So I don't know that this is the vulnerability that we want. Let's use zero. Set, I'm gonna set GR host to, uh, what was it, 10.10.255.124, show options, set G, 
our host to one, two, three, four. Oh, darn. Ports is what I wanted. Start our port. Uh, that is my IP address, IPA. Yep. Your right path of the Tomcat installation. Installation is on. Yep. Okay, so let's see if it has a check. Target's not exploitable. Yeah, that makes sense because the version wasn't correct, right? Let's see about the version that's on port 80 here. Hmm. 18 Apache 2 CTL graceful log rotate uh yeah i'm not so sure about this keep waiting on my nicto i guess oh hey what are these things path docs examples I can upload a JSP. I don't know what this thing is. Do you have anything for me in here? That was interesting. Manager upload. Let's see what that manager upload is. Search Tomcat upload. Okay. Seems promising. Info to. This module can be can be used to up Execute a payload on Apache Tomcat servers that expose manager application, which one does this one does. Payload is a upload as a war containing JSP. Alright, this is in line with what we were just talking about. Uh yep, against manager HTML upload component. Note the compatible payload sets vary based on the selected target. For example, you must select the Windows target to use native Windows payload. There, that's fine, I don't care. That one we said was Ubuntu. So we'd be looking at uh, two, probably. Uh, we do have a username. We do have a password, password and username. Manager URI, yeah, that's the URI path of the manager app. That's exactly where it is. This looks really promising. So let's see, um, set uh, HTTP Password as bubbles set HTTP username as Bob show options show missing. We have generic reverse shell reverse TCP automatic. I'm gonna see about uh, set target two. Show payloads. Okay, looks like uh, this is the best we're gonna be able to get. That looks okay. Let's see if this one has a check on it. It's 
says target is not exploitable. Payload Java. Set target. Set, I set the target to zero. Show options. Show show payloads. So I just set the payload to the Java one. Uh, but like I said, it's not looking, not look, oh, I know why. Set R port, we wanna set the R port to 80, show options. Let's see if this will work for us. Hmm. Still says not exploitable. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try. Where did my password thing go? That's not right. How did we get switched up here? Info two. That's 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 what it was. Uh, info two. We have to use two. Yeah, use two. Okay, now things make a lot more sense. Uh, so we'll set that set HTTP password to uh, bubbles. Set HTTP. I was like, how is it not exploitable when like we have the configuration? We got everything. It's literally just like uploading it, but. Set our port to 80. That's what we're trying to use. Show options. Going with Java. All right, that sounds good. All right, let's check this now. Exploit a border due to not found target server does not match. So, all right, well, let's do this. Check. Cannot reliably check exploitability, but it's better. So if we stuck with one, two, three, four, we still can log in. Uh, yeah. All right. This I think this is gonna go. Let's see if uh, Netcat irks me. All right. Uh, Nick though still doing its thing. We'll wait on that. Uh, but we'll continue with this, and we'll just uh, go ahead and exploit. Boarded due to failure, unable to access the Tomcat Manager. Show options. Let's see what we got here. The username and password are messed up. So that makes sense. Password is bubbles. And uh, HTTP username is Bob. All right. Target review should be vulnerable. All right, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Start its reverse TCP handler. It's getting a session for us. We have an interpreter shell. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Sysinfo, Sysinfo. All right, Linux, Java, great. Uh, let's look at some help commands from interpreter. Sysinfo, we just did that. Uh, get UID. We are root. All right, so we could do basically anything and everything now. Uh, oh, what user did you get a shell as? So root. And uh, we can go to root flag dot text. So let's see, cd, actually, cat root flag dot text. All right, root flag. The only thing I'm waiting on now is what Nikto has to tell us. Um, but 
what uh, what's it look like? An hour and a half? Uh, we got plenty of time before the machine explodes. Um, that's cat. Uh, Etsy pass. What else we got out of here? Looks like we just had a root. WWW data. Hey, appreciate all the help. Um, let's see, anything else that I would like to take a look at? Um, no, I mean, I'm, I feel what I need to do is obviously adjust this. And we did it on, uh, let's see if I can background BG. Show options. One, two, three, four. We did uh, use exploit multi. Oh, why am I why am I doing this? in HTTP password, HTTP username, what else did we do, um, ensure correct, our host, our port, landed on box, Group. Cool, cool. Still waiting on Nikto. Nikto is taking forever. But uh, I think I'm going to have to end the stream. Because I don't want to have to make everybody else wait a million years to get how long or how many uh, files Nick to identify. Maybe I'll put it in like the description or something later on. Oh, let's take a look at these hints while we're at it, huh? Use their burster. All right, we used Go Buster. It's fine. Uh, use Hydra. All right, we used Hydra. That was helpful. Use Nmap. Uh, yeah, we used Nmap. Uh, look at your Nikto output. So we used um, MSF, uh, we used uh, Nmap to get our, our, but that's because it used default scripts. Um, so that was the only difference so far, and now I just gotta wait for this documentation files in manager HTML for port 1234. Uh, but I guess this goes to show off. You're gonna do a Nikto scan, like kick that thing off immediately. Because bro, it's a long, long wait. Um, all right, uh, I think that's it for now. Otherwise, uh, got nothing. Thanks again for hanging out with me and uh, talking, talking me through some of this stuff. Appreciate you. Thank you for the nudges. Uh, and I can't wait because as soon as, man. All right, so this is this is me. Don't do this. This is a what a bad kid would do. I know that there, <laughs> it has one asterisk, and it's five. So I should be expecting five uh, documentation files for my Nikto scan, and if I don't get it right then I'll have to practice some more. Um, honestly, what I need to do is go to learn, search, and then let's see if there's any Nikto specific rooms. This is the only one? <laughs> All right, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get real good at Nikto. And uh, and I'm gonna start, uh, maybe I'll, I'll be the Nikto guru then. 
if you guys are good at creating rooms or whatever, maybe this is a, an area that's ripe for for study. Um, otherwise, that's it for me. I've been Red. Uh, catch me on the Try Hack Me server. Uh, I go by the name of Athlete over there. And let me know how you're doing. If you're ever going to be doing one of these boxes, hit me up, and uh, I would love to hang out. So cheers, and let's roll.